hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the newbies don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button feel free to tell us what you want on the comment section stay tuned salim says this crown is very heavy i can't wear it jalal says it is made heavy so that you remember the responsibilities on your head always jalal asks him to take sword in his hand salim takes and breaks spell on it he gets tense Jalal smiles and says, you will get time to play. Jalal says, from now on, Salim will be minister of Punjab and his salary will be 500 rupees. Murad will get 300 rupees. Daniel will get 2,000 salary. Javida's son will get 500 salary. Shamshad will get 250 salary. Jalal says, my hair has sit on throne for first time today. From now on, he will sit with me in court and will seal matters with me. Jalal asks to start the court section. The betrayers are shown in court. Jalal gets angry on them and says that you people were provoking others to fight with Mughal Sultanate. You are betrayers and I will not forgive you. He announced to crush them under elephant's feet. Salim is shocked. Salim says, no father, if they are crushed under elephant's feet, then they will die. You say that savior is bigger than killer. They are bad but you are not. Jalal caresses his face and makes Salim sit on throne again. Jalal says, I am changing my decision. Now, they will be given punishment to be jailed for life. Jalal says, today, my hair gave fixed verdict and made me realize that, that I am human and savior is greater than killer. I am happy. Joda thinks Christy was right. Salim thinks and lives from heart only. He will bring change in palace. Murad said to Salima that why didn't I get state of Punjab under me? Is Salim more efficient than me? Rahim says you will get it too when you grow up. Murad says why will you listen to me as you are Jalal's right hand and will take inside only? Javida says to Haida that look, look, you have got job in palace. Haida says I will not stop in only this. I want states, provinces, I will win provinces after provinces and will become king like Salim. Javida asks him to not go against King Jalal ever. Daniel is eating. Her mother asks him to not eat much now. He is minister and he needs to think to work. Daniel says, so should I stop eating? He takes, she takes plates from him. Daniel runs from there. Salim says to Joda that I like playing and Jalal made me sit in palace. Joda says, you did justice in court today. Salim says, how can Jalal order to crush anyone? Joda says, leave it and wear this crown. Jalal comes there too. Salim says, no, I don't want to wear it. Joda says, you have to wear it till Jason. Salim says, wear I will become king. I will make a huge crown of iron and will make Jalal wear it. He will then know how it feels and I will make soft crown for you. Jalal is listening to all this. Joda says, what if I tell everything to Jalal? Salim has his back to Jalal and says, I am not afraid of him. In fact, he is afraid of me. Didn't you see how he agreed to my decision in court? Joda laughs and finds Jalal in room. Salim says, when I will become king, I will change rules and will allow kids to play. Jalal says, Sheku Baba, Salim gets afraid. Jalal says, so I am afraid of you. Salim says, Hamida had scored him. He runs from there. Joda laughs. Jalal says to Joda, that you know why I don't get angry on Salim. Joda says, ask why. Jalal says, when he laughs, I find you in him. Joda says, and his hair and complexion is same like you. And also his ability of cooking stories. She laughs. Jalal laughs too. Joda rests her head on Jalal's shoulder. Salim comes to Rukaya. Rukaya asks, what are you doing here? Salim says, I am thirsty. Rukaya make him drink water. Salim finds pan and asks, what is this? Rukaya says, this is pan. Do you want to eat? Salim says, no. How can I eat this? Rukaya says, why not? You are here to throne. You can do anything. Eat it. Rukaya says that I have mixed opium in it. I will see how it will affect Salim. Now, when Salim would want opium, he will come to me and I will make him addicted. Salim says, yes, I can do anything. He takes pan to eat, but he finds some noise. He sees from balcony Ak Anakali coming in palace. He says, what is this bad girl doing here? He says to Rukaya that Nadira has come in our palace. I will go and see her. He leaves the pan there. Rukaya 
gets angry and says, Who is this Nadira that interrupted my work? Salim comes in garden. Nadira finds him setting his crown. She laughs at him. Salim asks, Why are you laughing? And Akali says, Your crown is bigger than you. How are you handling it? Salim says, What are you doing in the palace? And Akali says, I have come to roam around. Salim says, Security is my duty. You can't go in. She says, Jalal has invited us here. Salim says, Jalal is my father. Anakali says, I will tell him that you're not following his order. Salim gets afraid and says, I don't want to talk to you. You leave from here. I have to handle many things. Anakali jokes that handle your crown only. Jason starts. Tansin starts his song with his band. One band member starts the song. His voice chokes and he coughs in between. Anakali completes the tune and sings hiding behind curtain. Jalal likes it and calls her in front. Jalal asks her, her name. She says, I am Nadira. My father is Rashid. Jalal says, I know you. In fact, I announced your name. Jalal says, I like your voice. Please sing for us. Nadira sings beautifully. Rahim says, wow, such voice in such tender age. Amazing. Salim says, why are you all praising her? After song, Jalal says, great. Tansin, you should be jealous of her voice. He asks, what gift do you want? Anakali says, I want to see full palace. Jalal says, you can do that. Anakali says, I tried, but someone stopped me. Jalal asks who? Anakali says, he was ill-mannered guy. Jalal asks his name. Salim points Anakali to not take his name. Anakali says, I don't know. Jalal says to Anakali that you can visit whole palace. Anakali says, one ill-mannered guy stopped me from seeing palace. I don't know who he he is but when i said your name then he ran with he ran away with fear jalal looks at salim and asks him to come close jalal says this girl wants to see palace i want you murad and daniel to accompany her and if that ill mannered guy come then bring him to me salim looks at anakali anakali is with murad salim and Mur and Daniel, they gossip about her. Salim says we have to throw her out. Murat says if I push her to the ground, then she will not come back to the palace. Salim says no, I will handle her in some other way. Anakali asks, won't you show me palace or should I go to Jalal? Murat says no, Salim will show the palace. They take her around the palace. After some time, Anakali says I am tired. I will come tomorrow to see remaining parts of palace. She leaves. Salim says she will come back tomorrow too. She was making me afraid with Jalal's name. Now wait and watch what I do with her. Salim is drinking milk and says, What does that girl think of herself? I have to teach her lesson. Rukaya is there too. Rukaya says, Yes, you have to teach her lesson as you are here to throne. But she is clever, so to fight with her, you have to finish this milk. Salim drinks the whole glass in one breath. He gets in inebriated. Jalal comes there and asks what happened to Salim. Rukaya says it's all your fault. You made Salim busy whole day, so now he is sleeping. Jalal says you are right. I gave lots of work to him. He lifts Salim in his hands and take him from there. Rukaya says Jalal couldn't guess anything, but what if Salim tells him that he is feeling dizzy after drinking milk only? I have to spy on them. Jalal brings Salim to Joda. Joda asks what happened to him. Jalal says it was his first day in palace, so he must have gotten tired. Joda says he doesn't sleep without listening to my lullaby. Jalal says many things happen for first time. Rukaya spy on them. Salim in, sleep in sleepy state says I have headache. Jalal says I think it's because of heavy crown. Salim asks Joda to sing lullaby. Jalal says see your wish is fulfilled. Now I will listen to your voice too. Joda asks are you a child? Jalal says... Jalal says no, but I am Sheku Baba. Jalal, Joda smiles and sings. Jalal looks at her. Salim sleeps. Jalal says that today you called, he called you Masa instead of Ami Jan. I am happy. Joda says he is like you. He says good things in sleep and also he is respecting both the religion like you. Jalal says I hope that he becomes more great king than me. The king who respects all religion. He is respected by people. The king who bow down to his nation. His nation can give their lives for that king. Rukaya is seeing all this. She says thank God Jalal didn't know anything. She leaves from there. It's morning. Daniel comes to Salim and says that girl has come. Salim says again. Murat says we have to follow Jalal's orders. Anakali comes there with full attitude and says, let's start from where we left. Salim says to Murad that this girl is so egoistic. Murad says, if you say, then I can kill her. 
I am your right hand. Just order me. Daniel says, let's eat some ladus. Murad says, shut up. Murad signs to Heather to do something. And Akali says to Salim that I want to see special court. Salim says it's far from here. She says, so what? Everywhere is Jalal's order. So who can say no to me? Salim says, don't give warnings. Let's go. Heather says to Murad that let's do our trick. And Akali along with Salim and Daniel come in Angori Garden. Murad and Heather has put rope on ground. When Anakali passes by it, they pull it. Anakali slips and falls in swimming pool. All kids laugh at her. Anakali says that Salim, you have done it. Salim says you are going forward and cannot see what is com going to come. You have fallen with your mistake. Anakali says I will go and complain to Jalal. Salim says I didn't do anything. Anakali says I know you must have pushed me. Rukaya comes there and says to Anakali that don't forget you are talking to her of Mughals. Salim says this is the same girl who called me smaller than finger. Rukaya says you don't have manners. Say sorry to Salim. Anakali Kali says, why would I? He has pushed me so he will say sorry. Rukaya says, how dare you? Zilbaha comes there and says, I am sorry, Rukaya Belgium. My girl is innocent. She asks Anakali to say sorry. She says, I didn't do anything wrong, so I won't say sorry. Salim have to say sorry, as I am his guest and he pushed me. Rukaya says, how dare you speak in front of royal family? You'll be punished for this mistake. Joda comes there and says to Rukaya that show some softness towards her. Fight happens between children. You don't have to get this much angry. Rukaya says, along with kids, their parents should know their position salim is going to be king so this family should be punished so that it sets example as how to talk to her Mughal palace is under my custody so i have decided to throw rashid out of palace his job is taken back zilbaha takes anakali and goes from there in her room salim asks rukaya what was the need to take her father's job rukaya says that you are king you should set example that whoever will try to insult you he will be punished king is he who people should be afraid of he says i have made ladus for you eat it zibaha scolds anakali that because of you your father's job is taken rashid says don't scold her she is kid she didn't do anything wrong rashid says to anakali that you should understand salim is next king we all have to respect him rukaya says to salim that that girl has done huge mistakes so she had to be punished salim says i am sleepy i'll go to joda and listen to story from her rukaya says you sleep with me i will tell you story she says there was a fairy whose wings we are caught off. Then a prince came in her life. Fairy understood that this prince will bring her wings back. So she made prince under her influence. Salim sleeps. Rukaya smacks and, and looks at opium. Guys, this Rukaya is really, really wicked. I just can't wait to see her end. But if only you guys will stay tuned and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And we'll keep watching to get to know the end of Wicked Rukaya. Stay tuned for the next episode dropping tomorrow. Subscribe. Bye.